Hello boys and girls, Mr. Jumini wanted to come to you with an example of a question that we went over yesterday in some of the classes. This is one, we did a couple examples like this, but this is one specific one in some of the classes. But I did want to provide you a video because I know it was a topic that uh, seemed to confuse some of you. So taking a look. It says, Hunter has the following grades in Math 6 this quarter. An 84, an 88, a 79, and 92. There's a big assessment next week and he wants to have an 85% in the class once the assessment is over. What must Hunter score on his last assessment to ensure that he ends the quarter with an 85%? Now I should note that these are all percentages. Now we're trying to find he wants what must Hunter score on the last assessment to ensure that he ends the quarter with an 85%. So he wants to have an average grade of an 85%. So I think of average. I think of the word average which also clues me into that word mean. They are synonyms for each other. Now, I do know that Hunter's already taken four assessments this quarter. First one, he scored an 84. Plus, he scored an 88. Plus, he scored a 79. And then he scored a 92. Now, let's say we just want to find the average of those four. We would take those four scores and divide them by four. We would find the sum and then divide them by four. Well, Hunter still has that one big assessment. There's one big assessment. We don't know what he scored on it, so we're going to call that X. We don't know what he scored on that last assessment. We know for a grade he wants to have an 85% when the quarter ends. Now, the problem is, is we can't just add all these, and that's not going to equal 85. We're finding average or mean, so we would take all the sum of all the scores and divide it by, we now have one, two, three, four, five assessments for that quarter. And that would give us the 85. Let me make the 85 just look like this. So again, Hunter had four assessments already this quarter. We don't know his average from those four, but we could easily calculate that. He has one more assessment left. This is that unknown, the last assessment. that, if, Or if you want to call it, the, this is his fifth test. And we're, so that's why we're dividing by five. A couple things I could do here. I know I need to get rid of that divide by five. But I can simplify this top part. So let's add this top part first. And again, I cannot combine the x with it because they're not like terms. But I can all add all these up. Uh, I believe that 84 and 88, I think that gives me 172. We have 8 plus 4 is 12, 16, 17, OK, plus. Let's go 79 plus 92. 9 plus 2 is 11. 9 and 7 is 16 plus 1, I think, is 17. So we have 171 here. We have plus the x still. We still have all this divided by 5 equals Hunter score of 85, the score he wants. Now let's combine like terms up top. So we can combine 172 and 171, and I think that gives us 343 plus x divided by 5 equals 85. Now, one of the examples I showed you guys for this in class is like, well, what if I just had this equation? x divided by 3 equals 12. Well, how would you go about solving this? I broke something into three equal pieces, each give 12. Well, we would undo we would undo the division by multiplying both sides. And here I'll multiply by 3 over 1 to get the cross reduction, which leaves with x. Here I just multiply by the whole number 3. I don't need to have as a fraction, but I can multiply by the rational number 3. Two times, or 12 times 3, excuse me, is 36. Put 36 on top. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Let's do the same thing here. I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So this becomes by 5 over 1. I'm making it as a fraction because this looks like a fraction. The division bar. Multiply this side by 5. This crosses out, cancels out with a cross reduction. So now we have 343 plus x is equal to 25. 425. Now, I want to isolate this x. I'm going to use the word isolate because we have addition or subtraction. We have addition, so to undo addition, we subtract. So I'll subtract 343 from both sides, so minus 343. Let's give myself some more space over here. So 425 plus, oh, excuse me, minus. I'm using the incorrect operation. Minus. Minus, we want to undo addition, so we subtract. Minus 343. This gives me 2. This would give me a 12. This gives me a 3. 12 minus 4 is 8. So we have x is equal to 80 
two. Hunter needs an 82% on his last test to ensure that for the end of the quarter he would have an 85% in the class. Hope this helps you out. Take care. Bye.